don't tell me not to call anymore. Give my number block. It's okay, you don't have to talk. I just want you to know that I love you. And I'll do anything for my family. Okay? Mom, I just, I just want to know how you're doing, okay? Please just, please just have your doctor call me. Six people on this piece of paper. All of whom need to die. Only people you have to worry about are on that piece of paper. For the sake of communication, you refer to me as boss, and I refer to you as killer. What a fitting name you picked for me. If you need anything, there are two phone numbers on the back of that piece of paper. Each one once and only once. I only expect to hear those phones ring if and only if you're in a dire situation. I mean, as much information as possible about these people to ensure I don't have to call one of these numbers. I'm not paying you to ask questions, I'm paying you to kill. You're paying me to get the job done at all costs. To do that, I need to know what I'm up against. They're businessmen, not politicians. They don't work to get escorted by motorcade. Most of the time, they get to work by public transit or private vehicle. Most of the time they're alone. And alone means vulnerable, and that's when you strike. Also, one more thing. This right here is what I'm paying you for. Leave them all dead by December 31st, just two weeks from today. I expect that you can come up with a proper plan for each and every one of them. The information you gave me is about how they get to work. They won't have the new year off. Under these circumstances, no. Business as usual, so proceed as planned. His name right here, Henry Chen. I, I recognize it. Henry Chen. He's the CEO of Manticore Industries. Sounds to me like you're paying me pocket change for what it's worth. Remember what I said about asking questions? All right, do as planned, you get paid. Remember, I need them all dead by the new year. Excuse me, uh, sorry to bother you, but uh, do you change for 20 by any chance? No, I don't. I'm sorry. No worries. Have a good one.
Amanda, is that you, Amanda? Oh shit, I hate it when that happens. No worries, we all have our moments. You know, I could have sworn you were my sister. Thank God you weren't, I would have killed her if she came to town without calling me first. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's all right though, I mean, meeting you people is great too. I'm Ian. Nice to meet you, Ian. I'm Jennifer. It's a pleasure, Jennifer. Pleasure. Anyway, I've got to run, um, but have a nice day. I'd be interested to know I'm being followed. He's well trained, he knows what he's doing. He's been following me for a while, not a cop by the look of things. Hasn't intervened, just watching, waiting for the right time. He knows about me, which means he probably doesn't know about you. I'm hoping I'd help with that. Shit, okay, listen, I need you to lose him as fast as you can and double speed on the job. This day just got a bit more complicated. It's the negative, bus. It's us two on an empty street in Queens. He's no longer waiting for the right time because he's found the right time. Damn it, you think you could take him? This asshole? No problem. This entire thing is gonna cost you extra. Just wanna call me, make sure we're clear on that. Of course, if I'm captured, I have very little information that could lead back to you. I'm still hoping we can be a respectful businessman about this whole thing. Look, I gotta go. Excuse me, sir, do you have the time?
Ah, Mr. Killer. Kind of you to join us. Right on time, my friend. My secretary just finished making a pot of tea. Why do I feel like you've waited for me to come in so you could say that? Don't flatter yourself. Believe it or not, I actually have quite an acquired taste for certain teas. You ever tried poor? Can't say I have. It's a traditional tea from the Yunnan province in China, where my family came from. I was born in America, but I still feel an obligation to my family. I'm sure you can relate. Would you care for any? Uh, I suppose it won't kill me. It won't kill me, right? It'd be poetic if you were to die of poison, but no. That's not what we have in mind. Not bad. Glad you like it. Would you care something as well? You know, as much as I appreciate the, the Bond villain routine, I'm kind of tired of foreign foods. Actually, I was going to offer you some pizza. Cut the shit. Why am I here? And why was your guy following me the whole day? Very well. I think it's time I introduce my associates. The woman giving the presentation was Rebecca Sinner, CFO. This is Rashid Ahmad, our analyst. That's John Marshall, head of security. And I'm Henry Chen, CEO of Manticore Industries. Names sound familiar? A couple of them ring a bell. Can't quite remember where you've heard them before, huh? Browsing online, watching the news, reading the paper. One paper. In particular, perhaps. This is the one, by any chance. Do you know who the people on this list are? You're the executives of Manticore Industries. Do you know why the majority of this room here is empty today? Probably because most of the people that would usually be here are on break for the holidays. That's right, but allow me to point to that chair right there. My good friend Hatim Vassar would be sitting there usually, but he choked on his breakfast earlier today. We couldn't save him time. That chair you're sitting in right now? Ordinarily a kind, beautiful woman named Jennifer Greenlee be sitting there, but she's in the hospital right now. She's in the ICU. They found a collapse in Grand Central Station, having a bloody nose and a violent seizure. You didn't just kill two executives of Mad Core Industries. You killed two very good friends. Listen, I'm sorry about your friends. I, I really am but it's what I do. You asked if I knew I was killing some of the most powerful and influential people in the world? The answer is yes. I knew exactly who I was killing. And up until a few moments ago, I, I didn't much care. But when someone gives me a list of names, I kill them. That's what I do. You didn't bring me here today to start feelings of guilt, now did you? I had a job, and that was to find and kill all of you. And after I've killed said people, I now get to eat the leftover pizza and drink the tea they so kindly prepared in my honor. I can't claim to be much of a people's person in my day, but I'm smart enough to know you have another trick up your sleeve. Nothing we do is without reason, of course. We could have easily just taken you and killed you, but that'd be pointless. You're not our enemy. You're just the guy our enemy hired to kill us. I mean, doesn't that kind of make me your enemy? I didn't get to where I am today by shooting down opportunity. I instead seize it. And you, your opportunity. Let me ask you, Mr. Killer. What is it you know about a true enemy? Only what he told me two weeks ago when he hired me. He, he told me to call him boss and that we wouldn't use real names. He told me to burn this list when the job was done and that you all had to die on the New Year's. See, I actually know quite a bit about this man. Up until a couple of hours ago, I considered him to be a very good friend. The man you know is Boss? His name's Richard Stevens. Here's his file. Take a look. It says here he's the vice president of Manticore Industries. Well, we've yet to update that particular detail. Why would the VP of a, of a worldwide corporation try and have all his co-workers killed? Look at this other file.
Was it Panacea? Rebecca? John? Rashid? Care to take it from here? I was wondering if you were ever going to let them talk. Henry has a way of dominating the conversation. Let me ask you, Mr. Keller. Please, stop calling me that. Tell me what you know about Manticore Industries. Do you know what we do? You're a medical industry. You research, manufacture, distribute, and sell medication. Am I correct? Over the past 18 years, Manticore Industries has poured hundreds of millions of dollars into developing a new type of medication. Are you aware of the meaning of the word panacea of which our project is named after? Rashid? It's a word in Latin, literally meaning a cure or solution to all diseases. I, I don't think I follow. You're telling me Manicore Industries has found a drug to cure all diseases? Yes and no. Over the course of our research, in the course of 18 years and hundreds of personnel on the job, we developed a new type of medication that the body responds to. Without getting into specifics, it's essentially a drug that can hack into the brain, allowing the administrator of the drug to direct the brain's focus to any particular location. The brain tells every cell in the body to focus on a specific area and do what it needs to do in order to complete a certain goal. This seems too good to be true, I mean. There's got to be a catch, a side effect, something. There are two catches. One is the potential of the drug to be used for good as well as bad. Like I said, it hacks into the human brain, bending it to the will of the drug's administrator. It can have potentially harmful effects. It will be equally damaging as it is healing on a scale of which the medical world has yet to see. Yeah, what's the second catch? Well, the second catch is that after the initial use of the drug, after the brain carries out its orders, the brain develops a wall of defense against it. The brain knows that it's been taken over, it knows what caused it, and it takes measures to ensure that it can never happen again, similar to how we create enzymes to protect against pathogens in our immune system. The drug becomes useless after one use because the body creates an enzyme against it. So using it to cure a, a bloody nose or a headache is pretty pointless, but safe for life and death situations? Exactly. Obviously, this technology is going to take the world by storm. Only select employees at Manticore knew about the research, and even the researchers themselves were kept with as little information as possible, and are legally required to keep as quiet what little information they know. So, so I tell me all this. What does this have to do with me or, or the person that hired me to kill you? Richard Stevens, vice president of this company, is trying to have us all killed just days before we reveal this technology to the world. Manticore will be known for curing the world's most feared and deadly diseases, AIDS, cancer, will be worth trillions of dollars instead of billions. History in the making. But if Richard Stevens becomes the president of this company instead of Henry Chen at just the right time, then it'll be his name that's remembered. His legacy. His wallet as the sole benefactor. Why did he need all of you killed in the New Year's though? Why not any time in the past two weeks? That's something we wondered. That's something I'll expect you ask him when you see him again. So now it's all making sense. You want me to find and kill Richard Stevens? Yeah, that, that list that Stevens gave you, it had two phone numbers on it. But one of them's crossed off. What's the deal with that? They're emergency contacts. I call each number once and only once in case an emergency. It's our way of communicating. But the first number was crossed off. What was the first occasion? Your guy following me in Queens. It was more than I signed up for. I was calling him to tell him that my rates had increased. Quite the emergency. Well, in either case, I'd say that the uh, state of the current events would, would warrant you to call the second number. You are to call him and tell him the job is done. All of us are dead. You want to meet him to receive your payment. And when you meet him, you are going to kill him. Just be sure not to tell him the last part. We already have a system for payment. Then get creative. Doesn't matter what you tell him, as long as you can get him to meet you so you can finish the job. You meet to kill him. Just like that. Is that not what you do? It is. Don't get me wrong, this, this whole thing is rather intriguing, but you have to remember, I have an active job right now. And not only are you asking me to kill my client, but you're also the targets my client hired me to kill. I mean, you're gonna have to match this deal, if not do better than, at the very least. 
Mr. Killer, don't misunderstand us here. You wonder why we haven't asked for your real name yet? Kind of wish you did just so you stopped calling me Mr. Killer. Well, that's because we already know your real name. In fact, we know a lot about you. Real name, date of birth, address, profession, both official and unofficial. Here's my personal favorite, family. How's your family life? I'm curious. Careful. I don't care who you are or who you fucking deal with, but keep my family out of this or you will regret it. Don't misunderstand this, Mr. Killer. I'm not bringing your family to anything they aren't already a part of. Your mother, she's not well, I understand. I haven't talked to her in a while. Just leave messages. I don't want to provoke you any more than I already have, but... I know that also. I know who you are. I know what you do. I knew all that before I brought you in here. When Richard Stevens hired you to kill us, he told you nothing but names. I'm telling you the whole story. Your mother is sick. You know that, and I know that. Cancer's no joke. I lost my brother to it. Well, with Panacea, your mother can live a normal life again. Isn't that worth more than any single payment for a job? Take your time. And I won't force you. Well, you both know you're making that call. that bag, Henry Chen would have won. I need you to finish the job now. It's all up to you. What are you talking about? On the track, you go the other way. Get out of his line of sight. Go to Manticore, 
finish his job, get Panacea in the right hands. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm not exaggerating when I say the fate of the world is on your shoulders. No, no. This is your war. I'm a mercenary, not a soldier. Don't do this. If you became a soldier the moment you agreed to come here with Chen's orders. I don't know why I call anymore. I know you hate me. And it really hurts that you won't talk to me in your last couple of days. Look, I know I haven't always been the best son. The best person even. But I, I hope you know it's not your fault. I've come to a major moment in my own life moment that could change their lives for for a lot of people and and I want to be a good person mama I really do you have to believe that now more than ever I don't know if we'll ever talk again but if you get this message you know that things will get better okay I want you to hang in there D don't do it for me do it for yourself. Richard Stevens is dead. We got him in Central Park. I want all the details. Initially it went as planned, but the meeting was taking a bit too long, so I had my man intervene. And? Messier than it should have been. They dodged the first shot and then they ran to take cover behind a tree and, well, we got Stevens, but. I mean, it's not even like before where he knew what we wanted him to. He's talked to Richard Stevens. Who knows what he's told him, and now he thinks that we tried to kill him. Shut up, this isn't the end. We have men, we have resources, we have billions of dollars at our disposal. All we have to do is just keep Stephen's death on the low. You gunned down a man in Central Park. How do you expect to keep this on the down low? Just fucking listen, all right? We have all of the resources of this corporation at our fingertips. This isn't the end by a long shot. Besides that, we he doesn't know that anything we told him is true. So, uh, assuming that, Richard Stevens gave him all of the information and told him everything, he would still need to come back here for the proof. So all we have to do is set up a trap for him and then let him walk right into it. You underestimated him before, John, and because of that, two of my best friends are dead. They were dead. my friends too. Really? Were they? Because all you do is treat everyone like pieces in your own fucked up game. Hey, quiet, all right? This is... I have one of the most important jobs here, and all you do is take it for granted. Maybe we should find a new chief of security who can actually do his job without leaving trails of bodies everywhere. Sometimes things get messy, all right? It's not your fucking Cinderella princess version of this. I thought you were smarter than that. Enough! Okay, Rebecca, know your place. It's not your job to question security details. Marshall, you royally fucked us here. There's no question of that. Your incompetence has led to the deaths of multiple people. That should be sitting right here. But this is not the end. Not by any means. Mitch Gordon Street will still go strong. I promise that. You all know how I try to avoid my cliches, but admittedly there's a bit of truth to most of them. I want to remind you all that it's always darkest before the dawn. A new era, a new year is upon us. We are not going to let Richard Stevens shut us down. Now, Although you've been disappointing as of late, Marshall, there is an element of truth to what you're saying. Whatever Stevens told Killer is irrelevant without our files, which means he'll be back soon.
We've underestimated him in the past. One of our best men is hospitalized because of it. We don't need to track his actions. His actions are predictable. What I don't want is more bodies. Rebecca, John, you're both to leave New York. The way I see it, we have two separate but related problems. My vice president was just shot in New York's most crowded area. And there's still a killer out targeting the rest of us. If we're to move forward as a company, we can't make any more stupid mistakes. We have to be careful about our next steps. I want you to get your families and just leave. I don't care where. Just leave New York. And don't come back until I tell you to. Welcome back, Mr. Killer. You know I'm here, Chen. For this, I presume? Project Panacea. The most revolutionary medical technology to ever exist. Until you decided to cancel it. Not cancel. Postpone. It's still gonna be released. It's still gonna change lives. Just not yet. It's not ready. It is ready. Hand it over. It needs to be with the right people. What right people? Med is the only people with the knowledge and resources of how to manufacture and distribute such a medication. It'll make a lot of money, sure, but it'll also cost a lot of money, too. Without Manscore, this project would be as good as nothing. As far as I'm concerned, it's as good as nothing with Manscore. Hand it over. Very well. Cheers. Do whatever you think you can do with those plants. Got what you wanted. Leave. I promise you, okay? Those are the real plans. No tricks. The world will be changed forever, right? But... You might be sorry to know that not everybody will be able to reap the benefits of what you're holding in your hands. It's for you. Who is this? Hello? Who is this? Mom? Mom, is that you? Okay, you're done here. You fucking son of a bitch! I swear to God, if you do anything to hurt her... Yes, yes, you'll make sure I die a painful death. Listen, here's how it's gonna go down from here. If my guy isn't here back for me in the next four minutes, your mom's a dead woman. So you'd best listen carefully. To start off, you could have removed that blade from my throat. Perfect. Next, you could have called the FBI. Tell them your name, and your real one at that. And then you can confess to the murders of Atim Basara, Jennifer Greenlee, and Richard Stevens. I didn't kill Richard Stevens. Yes. Yes, you did. After that, you're going to turn yourself in. Listen, your mom will be safe. Once we release Project Panacea to the general public later this year, she'll be one of the first to receive treatment. I can personally guarantee you that. You almost had me there. But, uh, don't get me wrong when I say this. I would do anything for my family. But my mom? She's got less than a month to live. Even though I did meet your demands, she would die anyway. So at least this way I get the satisfaction of killing you first. Thank you.
control your actions, including speaking. Awareness that your sense of detachment is only a feeling and not reality. The sense that your body, legs or arms appear distorted, enlarged or shrunk. Feeling like you are observing yourself from above as if you were floating in the air. Thank you.